you will find thousands of videos on YouTube where it is told that in your house, power supply which is going to your house, just connect capacitor with that power supply and after this connection, electricity bill will be reduced. Is this really possible or not? I am going to explain you this in detail through this video. So when we connect capacitor, electricity bill is going to reduce or not, just wait and see. First of all, let us understand electricity bill which comes to our home, how this electricity bill is calculated for our home. Friends in your home, bulb, fan or any electrical instrument you use, power supply goes to these devices is through energy meter. And this energy meter is the one which calculates electricity bill of your house. It means how much power is consumed in your home. To calculate this, this type of meter is installed in your home. Now the reading of meter here, this reading is in unit. It means electricity bill is calculated in unit. To increase a unit, how much power consumption is required, let's understand this also. Friends, this unit here, you can also say unit is kilowatt hour. What is the meaning of kilowatt hour? Listen here. Friends, if in your home you connected load up to 1000 watt, and if you run this load for 1 hour, then in this condition, this energy meter will show power consumption of 1 unit. So to increase 1 unit in this meter, load of 1000 watt must run for 1 hour. Similarly, if you connect load of 500 watt, then you have to run it for 2 hours. Then only 1 unit power consumption will be there. In this way, if you connect 200 watt load, then you have to run it for 5 hours. Then only 1 unit power consumption will be there. Whatever unit power consumption is there in your home, multiply it by rate, then electricity bill is calculated. Meaning of rate here means, on one unit power consumption, how much money you have to pay. The main concept is, with this energy meter, if we connect the capacitor, then in this condition, electricity bill will be reduced or not. To understand this, we are doing a calculation here. So here a question is given to us. Find the total power consumption in a home in which load is running continuously for 1 hour. It means continuously for 1 hour power consumption is there, in which voltage is 230 volt. Current here is 25 ampere and power factor is 0 0.6. To solve this question, we have to use this formula. As I told you in the starting that if we run 1000 watt load for 1 hour, then in this condition, 1 unit power is consumed. So in our home, we will find power consumption in watt. And to find out power consumption in watt, you have to use this formula. Now this formula here is only for single phase power supply. If in your home, there is three phase power supply, then in this condition, you have to use this formula. For now in our home, single phase power supply is coming. So I will explain you by single phase formula only. Now in this formula, I am putting all the values, then this value will come in result in which voltage is 230 volt, current is 25 ampere and power factor is 0 0.6. If I multiply all these values, then answer will be 3450 watt. If you want to convert this watt in unit, then answer will be 3.45 unit. So in this home, in one hour, 3.45 unit power consumption is there. Now what we will do with the power supply going to home, let's connect a capacitor. What happens when we connect a capacitor here, let's understand. When we connect capacitor, we improve the power factor. Now what is power factor, listen carefully. In the power supply of our home, there is a voltage and current. This green line here is of voltage, this red line here is of current. Voltage and current both must flow together. If voltage and current are flowing together, then it is known as unity power factor. It means power factor of your home is very nice. After this, voltage and current in your home, in that, if voltage is leading and current is lagging, then it is known as lagging power factor. Lagging power factor is there when you connect inductive load in your home. Inductive load means, if you connect a motor in your home, then voltage leads and current lags. Similarly in your home, if capacitive load is connected, then in this condition, current will lead and voltage will lag. And if in your power supply, voltage is lagging and current is leading, then it is known as leading power factor. Normally in our home, we connect motor by which power factor lags. If power factor of your home is lagging, then to improve it, we connect capacitor. So for this home, with the power supply, we connected capacitor, so that the power factor here, this power factor will be improved. After improving the power factor, 
there are changes in current what changes is there and how much change occurs let's understand after connecting capacitor how much ampere current is flowing in home to find this you have to use this same formula for now we have to find current so i am using this formula now in this formula i am putting all the values what we have is 3450 so i have written here voltage is 230 volt and the power factor we improved is 0.9 previously power factor was 0.6 but by connecting the capacitor we improved the power factor and right now power factor is 0.9 by putting all these values to find current then answer will come as 16.66 ampere you can see the difference here previously current flowing in our home was 25 ampere but after connecting capacitor current now is 16.66 ampere so after connecting capacitor we got that current is reduced now question arises here is if current in our home is reduced then electricity bill will also reduce or not so i have to put this current rating in this formula if i put all the values in this formula then this equation will come voltage is 230 volt current is 16.666 and power factor is 0.9 When I multiply all these values, answer will come as three thousand four hundred and fifty. It means whatever power consumption is there earlier, same power consumption is now also. You can understand this in one more way. The energy meter we have in this energy meter, unit power which is consumed earlier in one hour, same power is consumed now. It means in our home, when voltage was two hundred and thirty, twenty-five ampere current was flowing and power factor was low. at that time also power consumption was 3.45 unit after that when we connected capacitor power factor got improved but current got reduced due to fall in current rating and improvement in power factor the power consumption which is there earlier is same even now it means electricity bill which was coming earlier now also same electricity bill will be charged even on connecting a capacitor also but friends you have to understand one thing here that the electrical devices in your home life of all these devices get increased if you improve power factor of supply to your home besides i want to tell you one more thing in industries in the power supply going to industries if power factor in that power supply is low then in this condition they have to pay penalty for this in industries if proper power factor is there then in this condition they don't have to pay any penalty in your home if three phase power supply is coming and power factor of your home is low then it may be possible that you are paying penalty if you want that no penalty is charged for you then keep the power factor improved so i hope you understood that on connecting a capacitor there won't be any change in electricity bill but by improving power factor we can remain safe from penalty i hope you like this video If you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video